and welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle and I'm a senior in high school. Today's video is super exciting because I decided to start a year-long project, the temperature blanket for 2022, and it has officially been one month. So a 12th of the blanket is finished. <laughs> A few reasons why I really wanted to make a temperature blanket this year. Lately we've been seeing the temperature changes associated with climate change. We've seen some before but this year it was really prominent with 60 degree winter days. So I was curious to see as the year progresses any abnormalities in temperatures so I thought that would be cool to track as the year goes on. Additionally, I'm gonna have some big life changes like I will be moving away for college sometime. I don't know where. So I wanted to see if I'd be able to tell on the blanket which day I moved and like which part of the year I was in a different location. Also I'm taking AP Human Geography which is all about this kind of stuff and also environmental science so it's all just kind of connecting into my outside of school hobby which I think is really cool. So let's get into it and I want to show you guys what my blanket looks like so far but first I think I should explain what a temperature blanket is. So a temperature blanket is where you add a row to the blanket every single day and the color of the yarn that you use for that specific row is for a temperature key. So mine, um, I'll put on the screen my temperature key but from 90 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit is going to be red, then from 70 to 90 is orange, and then from 50 to 70 I'm using yellow, 30 to 50 green, 10 to 30 is blue, and then from negative 10 degrees to 10 degrees is my purple. And also I had to decide if I wanted to do the average temperature of each day or the highs or the lows, so I'm using the highs of each day. So I also thought as I'm like looking across these clips and seeing the different temperature changes, um, I wanted to know kind of what my mental state was during the different months of the year and the different temperature ranges. Obviously, big impacts on mental health are like school and stress load and all of this, but I do feel like um, for me when it's like the sun is out and shining and it's a warmer temperature that I feel happier as well. Well, so I just want to talk a little bit about like my mental state currently and seeing like in 12 months if that's changed at all. So January is usually a pretty mixed feeling month, especially because it's senior year for me. So it's like starting my last semester of high school. Um, I love New Year's resolutions. Like ever, <laughs> I'm always challenging myself to do different things. Um, for example, I'm trying to learn Dutch on Duolingo and I've been doing that for like five months. <laughs> so that has been a challenge. But since the New Year's, I started some other New Year's resolutions like doing as many push-ups as I can in a row every single day. And I've gotten to 30, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that usually makes me feel really motivated. And so usually in January, I feel pretty motivated. I love having like that new clean slate feel, even though technically, you know, you've already been alive for however long. It's not technically a new slate, it's a made up construct, but I like it a lot. However, January is also one of the coldest months of the year where I live. <laughs> so yeah, currently, since it's super cold outside and I have all this work and stuff that I'm planning on doing, I'm literally working on five videos at one time. It is quite stressful for me. So yeah, as I look at this blanket, I think it's crazy that I have yellow days. That's like my main notice is like, and I thought I would have one purple day, obviously. That's why it's on my key now. I'm like, mm, maybe I should have made a different key. Like, And I was surprised I had like a lot of greens where the high was like close to 50 degrees. And then yellows is like, it's above 50 degrees and those were really nice days and I really enjoyed them but I don't think that they should be in January and it makes me a little bit concerned. However, I do enjoy having a temperature blanket because blue is the coldest days that happened in January where it was like 
you know, nine degrees outside or something, or it's 16 degrees and it was really cold and I really don't like the cold that much. So whenever it was really cold out and I was tired of making green rows, I'm like, yay, it's freaking cold, but it's a blue day and I can add blue to my blanket and it would like make me a little bit happier. Um, yeah, but I thought I should also include in this video maybe some accomplishments that I'm proud of that happened this month within these rows, including we reached 400 subscribers on YouTube, so so that's pretty crazy. Thank you all. But I'm going to be creating like an actual video about like, oh, thank you. Let me add you all to my subscriber chain. I have that going on. Um, when we get to a thousand, so maybe we'll get there soon. Also, I submitted all of my college applications and I received a few acceptances this month. So that was really nice and i started working out again so some of you might know i had like a leg injury a year ago and then i had a meeting with my surgeon this month and he told me that taking the screws out of my leg is kind of too much detail but i can make a video about it if you're interested um he says since it's not an immediate surgery that he can't schedule it for like three more months because of all the COVID stuff they have to make room for. So I decided to just push through the pain of working out with having the screws in my leg and just work out now that I knew the information of like, oh, I can't get them removed through for three more months. Because before that, like I tried working out and it was just kind of hurting. So I just kind of gave up on it knowing that I was going to have an appointment, possibly getting the screws removed. And I was like, why would I work out now if I can just wait like a few weeks and then be able to work out without any pain? But since he told me I have three months, I was like, okay, I might as well just work out, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I was really glad to start working out this month and I actually started working out with a friend too. 